Hi, and welcome to part 6 of the Point Sense for Revit tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be specifically looking at creating orthographic images in both colour and grayscale, loading those orthographic images into a family template and aligning them, and then selecting an area of 3D points and loading that into a family template. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do now is just go and find an area of interest. So in this instance, uh, in the 3D model here, we can see we've got this set of chimneys, which we're probably going to have to model as a unique family. And um, that will save modeling time. So what I'm going to do is just go to the site level uh, and just zoom in on the area. And I'm then going to create a section uh, directly next to the area I want to model. I'm just going to change the extent of that section view to limit it and I will open that up now as an orthographic uh, flat image. We can just change the uh, extent of the clipping area, just drag these down and we'll just zoom in to see what we have. And before I do anything, the first thing I'm going to do now is just go to the point sensor toolbar and go to my settings and I'm just going to have a look at what I've got predefined for the orthographic image. So for the intensity factor here I've got a setting of 1 and I'm just going to change that to about a 1000 um, and apply that and OK. And the next step is just to go into the auto image tool. So you can see that's updated the x-ray intensity factor uh, to 1000 there. So what we have to do now is just set a pixel size for our auto image. So the predefined is 1, I'm going to put that at 2. We can then choose between colour filling mode or x-ray mode. Um, but I'm just going to run this colour filling mode first and press start. So first of all, you can see now um, we are generating a raster image based on the, the extent of that section that we created. And we'll just take a little bit of time. And once we've done that, we can choose whether or not to save this out as a file or whether we want to insert this back into the specific section view. Now this will only work with section views or plan views. Um, if you use a 3D view you can only save this out as a file. So once that's finished I'm just going to go down now and I'm going to click on insert in same view close this dialog. So that's just going to load that raster image into the uh, current view. If I just hide off the point cloud, you can see there there's a tiled uh, raster image being created in that area. And if we zoom in on that, you can see it's, it's filled the gaps between the point spacings to create a um, flat image. Okay, so if I just orientate to uh, the section one in the 3D view, we can open up the same section um, in 3D and we can run this auto image tool again. This time I'm going to use the X-ray mode. Obviously I changed the X-ray intensity factor to a thousand already and I'm just going to press start on this. So you can see now it's gradually generating this um, grayscale image and if I drag the intensity factor left and right it slightly changes the visibility or the, the, the density of the, um, of the actual image itself. So you can see that there now, we can only save this out as a file now, because we're in 3D mode. So I will just save this out, and we can show section boxes if we want to, and change the colour, uh, show the extent of that section box in black lines if we wanted to do that, um, and we can just save that out as a file. So I'm just going to save this out as a PNG file. This will also save out an XML file, which uh, a scale file, which we will use to bring into the family template. And I'm just going to click OK here. So what I can also do now, if I just want to um, open that up and have a look, we can compare the two images. So here's the PNG file compared to what we have inside Revit. You can see it makes it a little bit clearer as to where the edges are of the certain um, chimney, um, chimney construction. So if I just orientate 3D view round to the side, um, possibly it would be best to do the top first or a plan view. 
we can just zoom in again on here and we can go back to auto image and we'll run using the, uh, the same sensor we did before which was about a thousand I think it was we set it at and just press start these are fairly small areas so they'll run fairly quickly but you can see we've generated a plan view so we're just going to save this one out as a file as well um, again we'll call this one chimney uh, plan press save and we'll just press ok now then last of all uh, we will generate a side view so I'm just going to change the extents of the section box slightly um, just to highlight just that side area and navigate around and I'm then going to just run that auto image tool one more time which should be relatively quick now and there we will generate a nice side orthographic image save this one out as chimney side click OK and the next step will be to bring these into a family template and align them so I'm just going to go now and open up a new family template so we have a look down the list here um, probably the best option here would be to load in a metric generic model template just so we can show the possible options that we have so I'm just going to go to that now and open up that template now you will see at the top now we have a point sense tab and um, with some additional options inside this family template environment and we have one here called insert auto image so I'm just going to um, click on this and you can see what is shown now is the XML scale file um, which is used to scale the um, PNG files so we directly open those up individually so I'm just bringing in the auto uh, the planned auto image now the plan auto image and we can see how this fits uh, on the center of the reference planes so when we're working with um, a small section box to create auto images generally these will be um, aligned correctly when we bring them in or relatively correctly in terms of the X and Y so if I just go to front now and then double click to zoom extent go back to the point sense tab and insert auto image I'll just now bring in the chimney front XML scale file so you can see there that's brought that in um, just go to the left hand side view and we will bring in the chimney side scale file there we go. so generally these are all in a relatively correct position however obviously we want to um, put these all on the same position uh, on the Z um, axis so if we just select the bottom of this scale file now and bring that up to the zero reference level and we can do the same with the front elevation so just select that there now and bring that up okay so once we've got these aligned in the Z reference we can create some reference planes to try and establish whether or not these line up in the different elevation views and also in the plan view so I'm just going to find a nice area that I can um, pick to align these uh, these uh, orthographic images with so I'm just going to pick the extremity of the, of the left and right hand side of this front view um, or the, the outside face of the chimney structure itself and create a reference plane there uh, on either side which will carry through into the plan view and I can make sure that I've got that aligned correctly so just two reference planes here we also obviously have the center uh, reference plane which is already established by the um, uh, family template itself just extend that one up and we can go through now and look at that in the plan view so we'll just zoom in to make sure this is aligned correctly now like I say because we did use a 3d section box in the project to create these images uh, these should be aligned correctly um, if we just check this center line here and um, obviously it's not quite in the center of the um, the chimney itself so I'm just going to create two extra reference planes just to um, check that it is the outside structure 
uh, of the chimney itself is lining up. So if we just check that there, yes, if we just look on the left hand side, that seems to line up okay. So I'm quite confident that any modeling I do now will be um, will be displayed correctly in each of the different views. So we just uh, maybe go now and tile these windows. I'll just shut down the um, the other project windows I've got open. We can have a look at what we've got. Now you'll notice uh, down on the right hand side there I've got the three D view. Three D view. Uh, does not obviously have anything within it at this moment in time because we are dealing with 2D orthographic plans. So however the next step will be to, to populate this area using some points. Okay so now I'm going to go and use the export PC region tool in the point sense tab to export the active section box and that's going to bring out a PTS file which I'm going to save on my desktop and I'm going to call that one chimney points file. Once we've done this we will now be able to go back and open up our family template that we were working on previously and we can have a look at how this displays in here. So obviously this is empty at the minute this 3D view so if we go back to the point sense tab and go insert PC region open up our chimney points file and press open we can change the scale unit, which is obviously predefined to meters. We can subsample this data set down to every second point, etc., if we want to. And we can also bring that in origin to origin or change the insert center point. So I'm just pressing origin to origin and inserting that there. And you can see it's obviously come in to the template, displayed in all the different views. Um, and you can see in the 3D view now the, the type of quality of, of them file that we're receiving. Um, what I obviously need to do is before I can use this in any way I do need to line this up with my orthographic images however I'm really just going to use this for a reference in the 3D um, in the 3D view so what I'm going to do is just rotate this around uh, probably best if I just place my rotation point in a specific location where I can align up quite well um, however this is just going to be for visual um, alignment so I can have a look at what I'm modeling in the 3D view. So just rotate that around now and I'm just going to move this um, in the plan view across to match my orthographic image. So just go and put that there and we can actually just go now and hide that off. Okay so I've just tile the windows again. The first thing we need to do now is just go and rectify this Z value for the points file. So I'm just going to select that once and drag it up to the reference zero level which will obviously update it in all of the different views. Now we can see we've got this uh, fairly well aligned now. However we are just going to be using this as a reference in the 3D view so we don't really want to be using it in the um, elevation and reference level view. We're going to use our nice clean orthographic images. So I'm just selecting um, uh, all of the elements there. I'm just going to filter my selection down to just focus on that points file itself and I'm going to hide that off. I'm going to do that in each of these different views. It would probably be a good idea actually first to pin some of these orthographic views so that we didn't select them all so that they weren't selectable. So we'll do that next. But I'm just going to uh, hide each one of these off now. So using the temporarily hide elements command just do my last one here, filter that down and just hide off the imported selection. Okay, so now we can start to look at maybe doing some modeling as well. Um, we've obviously got this plan here now. If I just first of all just select this orthographic image, I'm just going to pin that one there, uh, pin the left elevation and also pin this front elevation and I'm going to turn off my select pinned elements command so that I can no longer select that orthographic image. So we'll just zoom in now, go to my create and extrusion tab and we'll just draw a rough extrusion around the shape of this chimney itself. There we are. Just draw this in. Now we should be able to see this appear in all of our different views. So I'll just close that one off now. 
just go and press the big green tick for OK. Now we can see that that's appeared in the correct position in each of our different views. So I can just drag that up to roughly where it should be. And obviously if I now go and just maximise this 3D window, we can see that that's appeared in the correct location. There we go. So there's our the shape of our chimney structure itself. So really this is just a nice way to get some nice clean images into the template to use as modeling guides.